Hey, so PC DMS 2018 R1 was just released last week. I just recently downloaded it and I wanted to make a video to give you my take on it. So you can see here on my desktop, I've got two icons, the one on the left, 2017 R2, and the new one, 2018 R1. So a little bit of a different look. So let's just go ahead and launch that and we'll take a look at it. So you'll first notice the initializing screen is a little different. It's kind of been updated. So remember when you first installed this new release, you can actually read the release notes from the help menu. So let's go ahead and launch that help release notes. We'll launch the PDF document. I'd encourage you to read this um, and show some of the featured items, some of the highlights. I won't cover all of them, so I'll just cover a handful just to give you my take on some of the, the main ones. Okay, so let's close that and open a program. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is what's known as the rotation widget. So this is new, a new addition to 2018 R1. You can see it down there at the lower left hand side of my graphics screen. So what this does is we'll snap the view to one of the shaded uh, sides of that box. So it's a nice option. You can have that open all the time if you wish. We can do a couple things with it. We can resize it. If we go to our um, display symbols dialog. So this is the CAD and graphic setup. There's a trihedron tab. So if we open that, there's a couple options. We can change the colors of the rotation widget and we can change the size, make it really small or really big. If you're using this a lot, you may want to use the, the large size. It's probably something I would do. Or you can simply hide it. So if we go to the graphic items toolbar, there's a button here, a toggle button, where we can just hide or show the rotation widget. So I'm just going to hide that. Another new feature in 2018 R1 is what's called the two points toggle. So this is an auto feature option. So this applies to circles, planes, and cylinders. I'll show you with circles. So here I have a circle with 24 hits. And the toggle button is right here. It's the two points toggle. So if I press that and create my circle, two things will happen. Uh, number one, we have individual points as vector points, and we have a constructed circle created. So you can see there in my edit window, I have the construction plus the points. So this may be useful if you just want to report point data for those individual points, in addition to creating a circle. Uh, through the construction. Okay, so I'll just disable that, close the dialog, and get out of that. Another addition to 2018 R1 is the integration of the QDAS SPC software. Available under the Operation QDAS path. So we can open the configurator and I'll just uh, let you have a look there. So this is brand new. Hexagon is now integrating this into PCDMS. It's an alternative to Data Page Plus. Um, I've not yet learned this software, but uh, we will be offering this in the future. So that's QDAS SPC software integration. Another thing you'll notice in 2018 R1 is the addition and enhan enhancement to icons on the toolbars. So one of the bigger ones is the graphic items toolbar, shown here. So in 2017 R2, there was not as many icons here. So I like these icons. These are like show hide icons. We can show hide uh, labels. We can show hide the probe, clearance plane, clearance cube, rotation widget, all sorts of stuff. So it's a lot bigger than it was uh, previous to this release. Graphic views also has the addition of the part model transparency. So this is a toggle button. Toggle transparency on, toggle it off. Now let me zoom out a bit there. Let's give you a better look. So the graphic modes toolbar is a little different. It's shorter, which I like. So I have this toolbar open all the time. So I like that it's a bit refined. It's not as many icons um, and the look is different. So you can see there's circles now over here. So this is a program mode, text box mode, and the addition of the clip plane icon. 
So this will just launch clip planes from a, a single icon. So that's nice. One of the more popular options in PC Demos. So let's just go back to my preferred layout. So I always encourage people to use as few toolbars as possible. I mean, it's a personal preference, but uh, the layout you see here is generally the layout that I use. So I have my graphic modes toolbar on the right hand side, quick measure on the top, and my windows layout on the left there. So you can get away with just using these toolbars, um, maybe a couple more, like a custom one, but uh, this is how I program. So another new feature with 2018 R1 is what's called Quick Set Control. So this is my favorite new feature of 2018. I'll show you how it works. So it works in conjunction with the Quick Feature. So Quick Features again, hold the shift key down, you can create circles, uh, spheres, whatever you hover over with your mouse, you see it turns yellow. So now in 2018, when we double click a feature, like a circle, double click with a mouse, it opens a new dialog that allows you to adjust the parameters of your auto circle before you create it. So this is during the creation phase. So I can change the number of hits, say to four, I can change the depth, and I can make this default. So just hit the little three dots there and save it as default, so that's nice. So it's interactive and it remains open until I hit the green check mark right here. Or I can optionally cancel and it doesn't create the feature. So that's a great option. I love that. It's my favorite new feature of 2018 R1. Staying with uh, quick features and auto features, we can now create multiple features of the same size and type by simply highlighting the surface which they lie on. So this top plane, you can see it's turned blue when I clicked my mouse on it. So now when I hold shift and hover over a circle, it will select all the same circle sizes that lie on that plane. So I'll just give that a click. So that's a quick way to, to choose uh, multiple similar feature types. I should say the same feature types that lie on that same plane. Okay, so I'm just going to switch programs here and show you some GD&T enhancements. Okay, so I have a program open here that has embedded GD&T built into the CAD model, a CATIA file in this case. So what's new in 2018 is we can actually toggle on the characteristic IDs. So I'll show you what that is. So it's in the graphic items toolbar. If we, if we press this toggle button, it will show the ballooned um, dimension IDs that would be associated with the print and our report. So that's just a toggle we can show hide. Another new addition included in 2018 having to do with these GD&T callouts is found in CAD information. So CAD information has always been there but they've added this characteristic ID box. So you can see that at the bottom of the dialog. So I'll show you how that works. So I'll just click on any any dimension. So that's a flatness callout. And we can see on our print, it would be identified as flatness one. And this one here is position one and so forth. So there's cylindricity one. So that's the characteristic ID that's also embedded in that uh, CAD model. So that's, that's new. Also new in 2018 R1 is Inspection Planner now is standard. So Inspection Planner is Optimized Path. So you may have heard of this. Uh, it's found under Edit Optimized Path. So this has always been an option, but it is now come standard with uh, CAD++. So in the past, prior to this version, you would need to purchase that as an extra module. It's now included standard with CAD++. So also included in 2018 R1 is the button here, the icon button for Measurement Strategy Editor. So this works with Inspection Planner, allowing you to change the default parameters for each feature type, uh, Void and Smooth, for example. So if you had multiple features, you would want to set this first so you don't have to edit after the fact. So we can set all of our parameters here in the Measurement Strategy Editor. So this works in conjunction with path optimization. Okay, so let's close that. Another addition to this version of the software is the material condition modifiers for concentricity. 
Okay, so let's actually create a concentricity control, and I'll show you how that works. So let's do a couple cylinders here. So I'll just use quick features, cylinder one, cylinder two. So now we have the features that will let us create concentricity. Okay, so it's important to note here that this only applies to the ISO 1101 standard, it does not apply to ASME. So first step, define our datums. Cylinder one is datum A. And you'll notice in the feature control frame that we now have the ability to add a modifier. So that was not available before. So maximum material condition or least material condition only applies to ISO 1101. If I switch the standard, you'll see that that option disappears because that does not comply with that ASME standard. Um, also note that this is um, applicable to coaxiality as well. So concentricity, coaxiality, and the ISO 1101 standard now allows you to add that modifier. Okay, so let's close that. Um, another addition to 2018 R1 is a difference in the print command. So this is an enhancement. Um, so print command, as you can see, found under insert report command print command I just maximize my edit window so what they've added is the ability to um, add variables to different report types so you'll see it's a very subtle change if you just see it in the code here it's the little dollar sign beside the 2xl output so if I turn 2xl on you can see now I can in the print command, change the the uh, parameter from auto to overwrite. I'll just edit that command and uh, show you in the dialog. So if I want to use Excel now in the print command, I have the ability to edit some of these options here. So overwrite, for example, allows us to use a variable in, in the report name category. Uh, sorry, I should say file name. So you can see it right there. So I have a, another tutorial on how to insert variables in this section here. Um, so now we have the ability to do that with Excel. Prior to 2018, we could only have Excel on, Excel off in this print command. So it's a little more advanced. I may do a tutorial in the future to expand on that. But I know there's been a lot of demand for this, including from myself. So it's nice to see that that's been added. Okay, so that's about it. Just a few highlights of the 2018 R1 release. I uh, hope you found that useful. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.